So today's lesson is 4.6, the chain rule, and that's on pages 197 to 201 in your text. Our curriculum outcome is to demonstrate understanding of differentiation based on slope as a rate of change. And our lesson objective today is just one to learn about and learn how to use the chain rule for differentiation. So far, the rules that we have only allow us to find the derivative of very basic functions. We can find the derivative of products of functions and quotients of functions. The chain rule will allow us to find the derivative of functions raised to powers. So for example, f of x equals the square root of x squared minus 5x. That could be the same thing as x squared minus 5x to the power of a half. So it's a, it's a function raised to a power, and we can't take the, the derivative of that yet. Or something like g of x equals 2x cubed minus 4x plus 3 raised to the power of 4. So the chain rule is based on the concept that dy over dx. Now, if you remember, we haven't talked about this a lot, but it comes into play a lot in the next couple lessons and the next couple units. dy over dx is just the derivative of your function y in terms of x. And that is equal to dy over du times du over dx. And you can look at this as sort of like two things canceling out the du here, here. So we still get dy over dx. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the function in terms of u and then use the above statement to help us find the derivative. So for example, this g of x function, which equals 2x cubed minus 4x plus 3 raised to the fourth power, we will just be making a substitution. u is going to be the function that's inside the brackets. So we can rewrite this thing as g of uh, u equals just u to the fourth power. And then what we'll do is take the derivative of this new thing. And we'll do that on the next slide. So our example says find the derivative of f of x equals 2x cubed minus 4x plus 3 raised to the fourth power by using the chain rule. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a substitution. And we're going to make that substitution to say, um, instead of f of x, we're going to call this y. And we're going to make this substitution to say that u is equal to whatever we have inside the brackets. So we end up with y equals u to the fourth power. And that's when u equals uh, 2x cubed minus 4x plus 3. And from here, it's actually pretty simple if we keep this in mind. dy over dx, which is what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the derivative of y in terms of x is going to be the same thing as dy over du. So the derivative of y in terms of u multiplied by du over dx, the derivative of u in terms of x. So what we've got is this dy over du. We can find that by using this function right here, dy over du is the derivative of y in terms of u, and that is just 4u cubed. It's just the derivative of this thing. And the other part, the du over dx part, is the derivative of u in terms of x, and here we have a little equation where u is written in terms of x. So that means that du over dx is equal to uh, 6x squared, because we take the exponent, we bring it down, multiply it by the 2, and we subtract 1 from it minus 4. So now we get back to this concept that dy over dx, which is what we're trying to find, we're trying to find the derivative of y, and that's equal to dy over du. Well, dy over du is 4u cubed multiplied by du over dx, which is 6x squared minus 4. Now, we didn't have a u in our original function. It, this actually says that we have to find the derivative of y in terms of x. So we do know that u is equal to 2x cubed minus 4x plus 3. So we're just going to make that substitution back in here. So we get 2x cubed minus 4x plus 3 raised to the third power and multiplied by 6x squared minus 4. So this is the chain rule. Now, do you always need to make these substitutions? No. What we're going to do is take a look at this, our final product here and we can make some assumptions. So what happened is we started off with, let's just write it down in red here. We started off with y equaling uh, 2x cubed minus 4x plus 3. And that was raised to the fourth power. So you can see, hopefully, that we took this 4 and we brought it down in front. There it is. And then we subtracted 1 from the exponent, just like we normally do. But we still have the same thing inside the brackets. And then that, in the end, was multiplied by 6x squared minus 4, which was the derivative of what we had in the brackets. So if you want to write the chain rule in a different way, you could write it this way, that if f of x is equal to little f of x to the power of n, 
then we're going to say that capital F prime x, so the derivative of that thing, is equal to, well, we brought the exponent down. We still have the same function inside the brackets. But now that's raised to the power of n minus 1, just like we've been doing before. And then we multiplied that by whatever was in the brackets, but the derivative of that thing, that's 6x squared minus 4, that's where that came from. So times f prime x. And here is your chain rule, which usually people find a little bit easier to follow than the dy over dx equals dy over du times du over dx. So our example says find y prime if y is equal to 2x to the fifth power minus 1 to the power of 2 thirds. So again, our chain rule says that we're going to take our exponent and move it down in front, just like we've been doing for, mo for the most basic of the, of the uh, differentiation rules. Then we multiply it by whatever's in brackets, 2x5 minus 1, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent, negative 1 third. And then the final part is just to take the derivative of what's inside the brackets. And that now becomes 10x to the fourth power. Now when you're done this, it's usually... Um, a good idea to multiply that by any term that's in front. So we're going to get 20 over 3x to the 4th power times 2x to the 5th power minus 1 raised to the power of negative 1 third. So in summary, the chain rule allows us to take the derivative of functions that are raised to power. So that's a big thing that we need to be able to do. And the chain rule is if our function is equal to a function raised to a power, then the derivative of our function is when we take that exponent, move it down in front, multiply it by whatever was in the brackets, raised to the power of n minus 1, like we've been doing, and then remembering to multiply by the derivative of whatever is inside the brackets. So that's a, that's a big uh, uh, equation that you need to know, a big process that you need to be able to do. So our assignment is on pages 200 to 201. Uh, good luck, and we'll see you in class.